So let's talk about the father of lies, the liar. And he's been lying to many of you today. He's been lying to many of you this past week. He's been running his mouth. And you have been listening, but you haven't been rebuking. You've been listening, you've been entertaining it, and you entertaining it and not rebuking it has now caused a seed of deception to grow in your heart. Hear me carefully. Every stronghold that the adversary brings into your life begins with a lie. Yeah. If he can get you to believe it, he can then hold you hostage and keep you from progressing and keep you from moving in the direction that God would have you to move in. He's the father of lies. The adversary wants you to buy the lie so you don't praise God. So you don't give God glory. You buying a lie will cause you to be bound. You buying a lie will cause you to curse God and die. You, listen, buying a lie, you will never have the testimony at the end that I got double for my trouble. <laughs> you understand? I, I got double for my trouble that God brought me out. I was in deep depression. I didn't see my way out. I couldn't see my way out. I didn't even know how to even call upon the name of the Lord. But in my deepest despair, my God saw me and he delivered me. It says, Lord, that many, many will be deceived and fall away from God. If possible, the very elect. And then Timothy says, they're giving heed, hear me carefully, to doctrines of demons. Understand, if it is a doctrine of demons, it is nothing but a doctrine of lies. Do we understand this? The Bible doesn't say that the lie will set you free. The Bible says that the truth will set you free. I'm going to put it to you this way. A lie will keep you bound. A lie will have you living in depression. A lie will cause you to commit suicide. A lie will cause you to never progress and move in the direction God will have for you. But truth, when you get a hold of truth and truth get a hold of you, truth will bring you out. Truth will make, you hear what I'm saying? Have you speaking stuff that's sounds foolishness and when you belong to the God that overthrew him hear me carefully he is now after you and he wants you to believe that he's gonna overtake you that there's nothing you can do about what he does in your life that you might as well just sit back and go for the ride of depression because I'm in control the devil is a what 